Let's get one thing straight. This is my gig. You want your share? We play by my rules. If you've played any of Naughty Dog's previous games, there's going to be a lot of deja vu when playing through Uncharted The Lost Legacy. It seems that pretty much every one of The Lost Legacy's big action scenes is featured in another Naughty Dog game at some point. Don't believe us? Well, take a look at this, and watch out because there are obviously quite a few spoilers. The Lost Legacy starts with new hero Chloe Frazier taking a walk around an Indian marketplace accompanied by a young girl. Yes, the girl might be new and very adorable, but it's the kind of market we've seen a few times before. In both Uncharted 3 and Uncharted 4, we've seen Nathan Drake weave his way through colourful stalls. Okay, Uncharted 3 certainly wasn't on the same scale, but in Uncharted 4 it has that same feeling of hustle and bustle as it does in their Lost Legacy. Thankfully, the colour palettes have been switched out somewhat, with the Lost Legacy scene taking place as the sun sets, but even as you start playing, there's a sense of familiarity about the whole thing. Then we have the street signs. Uncharted 2 is full of great moments, but some would say it's worrying how many of them appear again in the Lost Legacy. As you can see here, with Chloe and Nadine making their way across the city by clambering across street signs, just as Nathan and Elena did in Uncharted 2 during a firefight, and Nathan himself did after another shootout. Even the prompts are the same here, with the animation as Nathan and Chloe leap from one side to the other also looking pretty damn identical. Without as many grunts, of course. There's also this moment in The Lost Legacy when you first reach the open plains of the Western Ghats in your jeep, when the camera pulls back to reveal the vista beyond. Just like it does in Uncharted 4. Almost to the frame. Yes, we know Naughty Dog vistas are beautiful, but would it hurt to find another camera angle? So The Lost Legacy might have taken inspiration from some of the biggest moments in other Uncharted games, but that's not to say that Naughty Dog didn't dip into its other titles too. There's a scene in The Last of Us where Joel and Ellie watch a tower of giraffes, yes, that's the official name, in a moment of peaceful serenity. But if you're thinking that was a one-off scene for the post-apocalypse, you're very wrong. The Lost Legacy has a scene that starts out with Chloe and Nadine rescuing a young elephant. After they freed her, he carries her to a clearing where the rest of her family are waiting for her. And if this isn't a nod to that giraffe scene, it's definitely a case of Naughty Dog using animals to pull at those heartstrings once again. And yes, it works. Of course, it can't always be about the feels. Uncharted is really all about the action. And what would Uncharted be without a helicopter fight scene? The Lost Legacy's helicopter fight comes quite near the end of the game. Asav's stolen the tusk and the gang are looking to get it back. Q patrolling helicopter holding perilous cargo and a small army of soldiers between you and it. If anyone, including the helicopter, spots you, you're at risk of becoming cannon fodder. But although the scenery has changed, the tactics have not. Remember the helicopter fight from Uncharted 2, where Nate and Chloe are trapped on the rooftop being targeted by a similarly armed to the teeth helicopter and surrounded by soldiers. Hiding behind stuff and taking out enemies becomes your only option, just as it does in The Lost Legacy. And then we get to the closing scenes of The Lost Legacy, which for us seemed like they were taking the absolute biscuit. A car chase is paired with a runaway train, followed by a close quarters combat fight, all of which are lifted straight from Uncharted 2 and 4. Take the car chase for example. It's basically the same as that part in Uncharted 4, where Nate is trying to rescue Sam from Shoreline Mercenaries. It even comes complete with enemies riding up on bikes either side, and a sequence where Chloe is being dragged behind the car, just like Nate was. Well, his was a big old crane, but you get our point. And then there's the train sequence itself. Arguably one of the best bits of Uncharted 2, Nate has to try and reach the front of the train by shooting his way through carriages of enemies. Switch to the Lost Legacy and you see Chloe and Nadine trying to reach the front of the train by shooting their way through carriages of enemies. So whether you think the rehashing of old ideas to make a new game is a good idea or a bad one, there's no denying that Naughty Dog has been drinking its own Kool-Aid of late. Let us know what you think about this in the comments below, click the boxes on the left for more content from us, and don't forget to hit that big button in the middle to subscribe for more gaming news, reviews, previews and features right here on Game Trailer Plus. We'll throw ourselves out!